The powerful new trim functionality in Premiere Pro CS6 allows you to edit the way that you want to, either with keyboard-driven shortcuts via a numeric keybed or dynamically inside the program monitor. So if we take a look at some of the edits that I have down here, let's just go ahead and select a clip. And if I right-click on this edit point, you'll see that we have all new options for editing here. Now, if I wanted to do a simple trim out, I could select one or even multiple clips, and using the numeric keypad, I could simply type in a figure minus 20 frames or plus 10 frames and automatically cut those frames or trim those frames based on the duration that I input there. But again, maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to dynamically move around the edit point, really experience what's happening as you're cutting between frames. So for that, we're going to use the new dynamic timeline trimming feature. So I'm going to select this one edit point here and choose a roll edit. Double click on this edit point, which now brings me directly into the program monitor. I'm not even going into a separate panel. And you'll see that we have preset buttons with preset durations, either back five or one frame, or plus one or plus five frames. You can add a default transition. And then you can use your JKL buttons to preview these changes before you make them, giving you absolute flexibility with how you edit and how you work inside Premiere Pro CS6.